Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do the What's Hot at Urban EDC weekly video for the gear drop that is tomorrow, Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023 at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I will link the drop down below, so check that link down there. I am also going to put a code. It is right here under my uh, little name. It says Lefty, L-E-F-T-Y. If you want to pick up any Urban EDC production knife tomorrow, so all day, or sorry, once the drop starts till midnight tomorrow, Wednesday, May 3rd, you can use code Lefty for 10% off any Urban EDC production knife. So F5.5s, Micro, Shrike, Monaco. I'm going to go through some of them in a second. That's why I'm doing the face cam style today. I'm also going to go through the gear drop. Now, first, I wanted to uh, thank Urban EDC. They're very kind, and they send me stuff to check out every week. I do send this stuff back. Sometimes I buy it. I'll show you a couple of things I bought. But they are very kind and send me stuff to check out every week so that I can show it to you guys for the drop. So big shout out to Urban EDC. Um, second, I want to talk about their um, their two sort of, um, I don't know what to call them, uh, exclusive programs, right? You have their VIP program, which is where you spend a certain amount of money and you now get perks. So once you spend $5,000 at Urban EDC, which y'all boy has done, um, I was a Urban EDC shopper well before I was uh, doing stuff with them for YouTube and or Devo Knives. So I'm a big fan of the, the uh, company. And um, they have the VIP tier. So if you spend $5,000, you get early access to the gear drops. That is why we're able to see the products on gear drop tomorrow right now, because I have early access. So I can stream that or whatever, share it, and we can look through them. Normally, you can't see what's coming on the drop until the drop, right? Um, you also get X amount of multiplier on your compass points. Urban EDC's Compass Points is one of the very best reward systems when it comes to dealers, in my opinion. I've dealt with and bought through a lot of dealers, and they have one of the best. DLT is another one that has a good program. And essentially, when you spend dollars, you get Compass Points. Those Compass Points add up, um, and then you can cash those in for gift cards. Um, I have a mounted many a compass point and been able to just drop a hundred dollar gift card and, and essentially buy myself something nice. And it's really fun to do that because you're just spending money you were spending anyway. Right. So you get over to Urban EC, you use that uh, sizzle because they have sizzle baby. And then you get compass points and you catch those compass points in, you know, it's a nice little, it's a nice little system they got going there. And then there's tiers to the VIP. So there's like bronze, gold, you know, silver, whatever. And your uh, compass points multiply as you go up, which is pretty damn cool. Um, then they have the Yamamoto Club. So this is a sort of Discord-based community they set up. And there's two tiers to this. Um, you can join... At a $9 tier, I believe it's called the Kappa tier, pay $9 a month and or I think $75 for a year, something like that. And um, you get uh, certain perks, right? You get to see um, buy, sell, trade on the Discord. I think there's some exclusive, uh, you get early you know, access to like exclusive items or stuff, stuff like that. Then they have a $99 tier, which is uh, limited to a number of spots so when somebody falls out a spot opens up and you can you can enter and i think you just sign up for a notify me on their website when that happens and um the people in the kappa group in the nine dollar group have first dibs on those spots that open up and in the the uh what did i say it was called the yanni i think group you get three hour early access to the gear drops so there's two ways to get early access, right? You have spend a lot of money or 
spend money up front monthly, <laughs> right? There's two different ways to do it. You can wait and just buy stuff and get it organically, or you can go, yeah, I want early access. Bang, drop your, your $100 a month, as long as there's a spot open, right? So there's two ways to do it. Uh, I'm not a big uh, uh, f- club guy. So, you know, um, it's not my style to do that just because I'm on so many socials and stuff. I can't even keep up with another app like Discord, but I have dropped in there. It's very active. If you want to get a hold of people at Urban EDC and just chit chat and get info and get insider info, stuff like that, that's the place to be. Join that Yamamoto club. Um, so I just want to put those two things out there. Um, and then we have the 10% off Urban EC production knives starting at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow till the end of the day with code LEFTY. I don't think that's going to work on pre-orders, but it might. You can give it a shot. So uh, let's just show you a couple things they sent me, and then I'm going to hit the uh, the share button here. So this one here is from... K and M T Luther, and it is the Foundling. Um, I don't know if that's a Star Wars reference, but probably is because everybody is a Star Wars nerd because Star Wars is the shit. Um, right here we have the Foundling. This is a little bottle opener slash pry bar. What is cool about this, Kev? Well, what I think is cool are two things. One, this is made out of zirconium. This is a zirk bottle opener slash pry bar i have never seen one before uh, that's pretty damn cool to me it's got a nice finish to it really really cool piece and then the other thing i really like is the uh, logo on there it's very clean very nicely machined or engraved in there just a really cool piece if you're into pocket trash you know you can hang this on a keychain um once you uh heat zerk like this put an oxidized layer on it whatever that's called it becomes very hard very tough you could put this on your keys and i bet you it won't be getting scratched up very much but um, i could be wrong so that's the luther foundling then we have a spider co spider co little native worn cliff check this thing out right here so you got the warning on the little native um, it looks good. I think it looks pretty natural on this design. Um, so they did a good job there. You have your compression lock that I'm not a fan of as a lefty. It's just very awkward. Um, the detail on this one is okay. Um, you know, I can fire it if I get the angle right and get her off. Uh, so she said that's pretty much a spider co thing though. It's pretty hit or miss with detents and, um, you know, you just got to flick upwards. That's kind of how the spidey hole is meant to be used. So I think it's fine. And then it's just the washers. You know, they got to break in. And once they break in, it'll be a little easier. But the thumb flick's a little bit harder for me. Um, and then you got to give it a good shake down to get it all the way down. But cool knife. Little Native is obviously a classic. This is their G10, which is very grippy. And this one is in S. 30 V steel and it is a golden Colorado made knife, which is pretty cool. So we have the little native worn cliff dropping. Uh, let me just double check if I have anything else here. Thought I did. Sorry. Just give me one second. That might've been it for the stuff that was sent. I think that was it. I might be missing something. Hopefully not. Um, but the big thing, the cool thing for me that's dropping is the Sagaha patterned Fist Blade Works Vanish. And they also have some of these exclusive Northwoods Leatherworks slips. This is an absolutely sexy slip. And yes, I'm going to put this knife down to show you the slip first. Uh, I am just always blown away by Troy's work. Um, Troy's a friend, but he also is uh, uh, an artist. And he is an artist with leather. Um, absolutely just crushes. And look at this. You have this white ghost Butero leather 
And what that means is they take the leather, which is a whiskey color, I believe. So if you take a look at that underneath, it's a whiskey color, right? And then they take this white wax and they put it over top. And so as you carry this, as you uh, carry it and, and take the knife in and out and, and hold it and all of that stuff, that wax starts to wear off. And it just patinas and looks absolutely stunning. Now, eventually, I think after years, you will just end up with a whiskey slip. I am waiting for the day that that happens to one of my ghost leather slips. I have a bunch. Like here is a uh, red one with black wax on it. You see my ball sack dangling over here? That's <laughs> oh, hilarious. Shout out to Gene and Kayla Johnson. Uh, but there's a, a black ghost with red. Um, I have a bunch of different ones. It's really cool stuff. And um, Urban EDC commissioned these with the white ghost leather. And uh, the whiskey underneath was white thread. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. So you can pick these up as well as the Sagaha patterned. Urban EDC, sorry, uh, Chris Blade Works, Vanish. This is their exclusive with the Sagaha pattern. This is the bronze or gold tie with black wash. It's called the Killmonger version. And this is one of the best knives of 2023. In fact, it is my knife of the year currently, the Chris Blade Works Vanish. It is just an amazingly small capable little slip joint with great walk and talk and these are starting at 129 dollars uh, i'm gonna confirm that real quick what the price is on the drop tomorrow the slip is gonna be 45 dollars and you're gonna be seeing these sagaha patterned uh vanishes for 129 dollars guys a buck 30 for this I'm blown away by the price. 20 CV steel, titanium, excellent. Walk and talk. If you are somebody who likes to pinch your knife open anywhere, I recommend the black wash version. It's a little bit easier to grip in those areas. Um, but if you like plain tie, the stone wash is fantastic. You just kind of have to grip by the hole when you do it, which that's what she said. And um, it is pretty much the natural place to grip. But I just want to point out, you do get a little more grip on the black wash. I will admit, if we look at it, which we're going to do right now, I do think the um, the all-tie one does look a little nicer. This has that little bit of white in it from the lasering, where this looks like a milled scale. And to me, that just looks a little cleaner and crisper. So um, either one is fantastic. I have one of each of these in the standard version. And then I have this one as well. And I am working on a fourth one from Jacob himself. And I really, really want to get one of the uh, other versions I've seen out there. So it is a fantastic knife. Knife of the year material for me. So definitely check out. The Kvist Blade Works Vanish, along with the Northwoods Leather Works Slip. This right here is a home run. Uh, you can basically get both of these for under $200. Come on. So that is that. Uh, let's go back and take a look at the rest of the gear drop. Another banger is going to be the CWF Micro Arcadian. As you can see, there's only four left right now. And people have early access, so hopefully they're still there when the drop happens tomorrow. It has the Sagaha clip on it, and this is a flashlight I love. I carry one every single day. I have a polished titanium version with a Zerkutai clip. Uh, I've had one of these in my pocket every day for over a year now, and I would not recommend it any flashlight more than this it is a wonderful wonderful piece of edc gear nice small beautiful does the job um and 
with these kinds of things, guys, you buy the maker, right? That's the same thing with Northwoods Leatherworks and Kvist Blade Works. Jacob, Troy, amazing people in the community. I love them both. And Charles is another person I love. I've met him at Blade Show. We've talked uh, quite a bit. And Charles is a good dude. And he will take care of you if you're his customer. So you can buy in confidence. Uh, so that's the CWF. They are expensive. You know, they're $500. But this is a custom-made flashlight in Georgia. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. Well worth the money, in my opinion. You basically get a lifetime warranty because Charles is excellent. Um, the next one here is the Microtech Anex or Annex or Anus, as I like to call it. Um, and this one looks to have some kind of twill carbon fiber, unless it's just the lighting and it's the regular um layered carbon fiber either way looks really good and uh, you either get the half serrated or the plain edge obviously i'm going to tell you to get the plain edge because eh, 600 for a serrated knife is a bit outrageous i'm not sure why it's 600 um my guess is microtech is selling these to dealers at regular prices. So customers who walk up to the table at Blade Shows, which is probably where they pick this up, like Blade Show Texas or something, they walk up to the table and it's $500 or $450. That's what Urban EDC paid to pick these up. And now they're dropping them. They have to make their margin on it. So they have to add their 30% or whatever it is. Um, so that's why the price, if you're curious, could be because of the DLC. But my guess is Microtech's not offering dealer pricing for some reason. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, I like to guess it shit. So there we go. Uh, but anybody who's missed out on these, here's your shot. There's one left in serrated and two left in standard plain edge. So if these are even available tomorrow when they drop, you're going to want to jump on it pretty dang quick. Uh, next up, we have the Microtech Exoset. Um, this one's not really, for me, the serrations and all that, but this is that pocket clip OTF they do. Um, I've heard really good things. A lot of people have these and really love them. I do like the design. It's got a Star Wars kind of feel to it. So definitely a cool piece. 315 bucks. you know, that's pretty good uh, for a U.S.-made OTF by Microtech, honestly. So only a couple left of that as well. And then we have ultra techs and serrated and non serrated black aluminum, uh, 269 and 255 is pretty good deal on those. I did not know they were, uh, in that price range. I mean, that puts it right around the Kershaw live wire, um, which is a fantastic OTF. So, uh, good on Microtech for that pricing right there. Here's the pry bar. We looked at looks like it does come in a couple other variations. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. Okay, here we go. Um, there might be some other material options. Looks like titanium, which is cool. Here's the slip from Northwoods. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, $45. Then you have the Odin's Eye. I have no idea what this is, but it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? $189. Wow. In uh, zirconium, though. So what happens here? That guy pops out, and now you have a knuck. Is that what it is? A knuck? Uh, the coolest and most badass metal masterpieces of a blah, 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 machine from solid zirconium is designed more discreet. Worry stone and fidget tool. Not only is it incredibly reassuring, worry stone and fidget tool, but in some cases also known to help with concentration. Okay. Um, I totally thought that was going to be some kind of knuck situation, but it is a fidget slash worry stone. Cool. Um, then we have more exo sets. We have the pry tool, probably from the same company. Yep. Um, so you get that little bit of a worry stone feel there. Uh, you might be able to pop a bottle right here and you got the little pry bar. Then you have the vanish. We already looked at, um, the Fellholter fap cap. I don't know what that is. Maybe for their, uh, bolt action pens. Ah, okay. So you can spin it on the top of your pen. That's pretty cool. That is pretty sick. A uh, hundred dollars though, just for that. I don't know about that, but, um, pretty cool. If you're into it, you're into it. Ober Metalworks Marlin Spike. So if you need some protection, there you go. And we have a Keenison. Now oh, it's already sold out. 
Um, Protex Strider PT Plus. It looks like a custom with the Mike Irie uh, hand satin or something. Uh, more uh, pry bars. You have a crazy Chris Reeve right here. The uh, Ladder Damascus, which is pretty cool. 700 bones for that guy. Look at that. Oh, man. I am not a Chris Reeve guy, but damn, that's some sexy stuff. And that's it, guys. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to look at was um, the Urban EDC production knives. This is where you can get 10% off with code LEFTY. So if you want to pick up a Urban EDC LC, which is the production version of this guy right here. This is my Trevor Burger Urban. This is actually my Lefty Custom numero uno i also have because i'm a greedy son bitch i got the numero uno righty as well so i got a little collection of uh burgers up in here but they have a production version which is much more affordable for 325 if you use that code lefty that's going to drop 32 bones off that puppy you're going to be under 300 dollars out the door so I did have the full titanium version and they are good to go. Very, very good knife. Really enjoyed it. Some people complain about the clip being tight, but I'd rather have it be tight than loose. Um, then we have the Monaco's. I do have a Monaco right here. A uh, very cool knife. I bought this on the pre-order. $229. Kidding me? Uh, again, with that discount, you're going to be under $200. No, you're going to be right around $200 which is pretty impressive. It comes in bronze, full tie, and the cobalt blue, but I believe the blue is sold out. Yep. So you can get the bead blast or you can get the uh, sort of bronze look. And it has this little flipper tab and it is a Jens Anso design. Now I did have mine sharpened because the factory edge is not the best considering the dual, the sort of dagger look. It kind of has to be a little thicker and and I don't know. So um, I sent it off to get sharpened and he had to lay back the edge a little bit. Um, so it does have a pretty big edge bevel, but now it cuts really well. Um, it wasn't bad before, but um, I just wanted it to be a little bit slicier. So, but I mean, for a little knife like this, you have great action, Riot made. And for like 200 bucks, I think it's fantastic. You can also take the clip off like I did and just put it in a slip so i have mine sits in a slip just like this so there's that then we have the urban edc nessie probably seen that guy before as well but you'd be just around 200 on that as well with code lefty um and then there's some uh models here from coke tools there's the micro strike there is the uh, Baby Barlow pre-order, but I'm not sure that's going to code's going to work on that. And then we have a couple of F5.5s, the Orange and the Jade. Uh, so there's a lot of other options like the uh, Dutchman pre-order. Again, not sure it's going to work on that. The Recluse slip joint right here made by Riot from Coke Tools as well. Designed by Coke Tools, I should say. The Sagaha pattern micro strike looking pretty hot right there. Um, so there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. That is what's hot this month or this week, sorry, at Urban EDC. Um, let me know what you think about this setup. Do you prefer the face cam and the uh, screen sharing where I can show you everything that they have on the drop? Or do you prefer the desktop where I just show you the stuff they sent my way and then kind of talk about what else there is? I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on that. And uh, if you take nothing else from this video, get yourself a Fist Blade Works Vanish in the Sagaha pattern with a Northwoods Leatherworks slip. You will not regret that decision, I promise you. Let me know what you guys think. Absolutely love you all. Thank you to Urban EDC. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Check the links down below. Hit that gear drop. May 3rd, 3 p.m. Eastern. I will catch you guys later.